Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can do this insane VHS effect. It looks so, so clean, but I do also highly suggest that you guys watch the whole video all the way through, as you do not want to miss out on any of these effects that I have not seen many people use at all. They're extremely unique and it will 100% benefit your next Fortnite highlight edit. Just before the video starts guys, please can you do me a really quick favour by just dropping a like and subscribing with post notifications on. It really does mean a lot as I have put quite a lot of effort and time into this video. Not only just making the effect but also teaching you guys exactly how to do it. So yeah, if you guys could just spend a few seconds out of your day to just drop a like and subscribe to the channel, it would really mean a lot. You'll be joining one of the best notification gangs on YouTube if you are already part of the notification gang. I love you guys. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do is just choose your clip, choose your song and just sync it up roughly with a beat. I usually put it where the shield crack is and then put the beat drop there. You can put a marker for reference. And then all we're going to have to do is now add velocity. I've shown this a lot in the past, just want to double click on the middle point here, then go 6 frames back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Or around 6 frames is good. Put it there and then go 1 frame to the side. Go about 3 quarters in after that. Put this to 50% and put this to 200 or 300% depending on your personal preference. Next you want to go like one or two uh, frames back and split the clip right there. And then we're going to find the area where we kind of want to start the VHS effect to begin. So choosing this point is quite dependent on your song but I see a bit of change right here. So I think I'm going to add the VHS effect around here. So we're just going to split the clip and we're also going to split the audio. And then we're going to go back here and also split the audio again. Okay, so now that you've split the audio and the clip itself, you want to go to the effects on the audio with this to load up. And once that's done, you want to choose a resonant filter, hit OK. Then this will take a bit of time to load up depending on how good your PC is. You want to go to the preset and go down and choose muffler. If that isn't there for you, all you have to go ahead and do is change the frequency to 350 and then hit save. And or you can just copy these settings and choose save. And then you can use that whenever you like. And all this is going to do is just mute or sort of muff with the audio a little bit. And it will look really, really good with the VHS effect. Okay, so now that you've added that to the audio, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is start applying some effects. So the first thing we're going to be adding is uni.vhs. I highly suggest that you guys do download the Universe plugins. Uh, I do show them off a lot in my tutorials and they're probably some of the best plugins you can get for Fortnite highlight editing. But yeah. First off, all we're going to go ahead and do is drag on the default version. Now in my opinion, this looks great and I'm going to keep it exactly like this. Once you've done that, what you want to go ahead and do is slowly fade in this clip so it sort of fades the VHS in. The next thing you want to go ahead and add is called S underscore JPEG damage. You just want to go ahead and drag and drop the default version on and copy my settings. This will give it a nice sort of small pixelated effect of glitch on your screen. And you can just go ahead and copy all of these settings right here and you're done you don't have to keyframe anything because uh, this is going to be fading in and yeah after that we want to go ahead and go to s underscore scan lines and drag and drop the default version on and copy my settings once you've got all of these down you want to start off with zero uh, keyframe the lines frequency it will automatically go to one by the way and then go to the end here and put this all the way up to 50 and then that is done as you can see now, the sort of lines will fade in onto your VHS and there the clip will happen. Alright guys, so now that you've added the effect that goes before the kill, I'm going to be showing you how to do the effect after the kill. Now, I've actually made a preset for you guys just to show thanks to all the support I've been getting recently. And you can go ahead and download that link in the description. There will be a few steps you have to do to gain access to it. All it is is following my Twitter and other stuff like that. So all support is greatly appreciated. Once you've done that, you should get this preset file right here. Now, it'll probably be in your downloads or whatever, but I'm going to be showing you exactly how to install it. So the first thing you need to go ahead and download is Preset Manager by Sony Vegas. The link to download that will be linked in the description. It's super easy to download and takes about two seconds. Once you've gone ahead and downloaded that, you'll have your preset right here. You just want to double click to open it. And then all you want to go ahead and do is go to FX Chains here and then click down and drag it into your effects. Now for me, it's going to tell me to overwrite it because I already have it, but for you, it will just be done. It won't come up with any message. It shouldn't do anyway. And once it has, all you have to do is close out of Vegas and your preset will be in there just like this. So all you have to go ahead and do is click on this event effects right here. Click on that. Now wait for this to load up. Now once it's done, you should have all your sort of presets. If not, go down to the drop thing and hit on filter packages. But I've just got mine in a 
nice organized way by making my own preset folder right here so now all you have to go ahead and do is hit ok and then as you can see all the effects will be already applied they'll be keyframed perfectly and yeah that's going to be your effect applied right there it's super super simple and you can actually customize this really nicely so let's say for example you want to have a red glow you can just change the glow to red and then change the rays to also red and then boom there you go you have a nice red glow right there it's super super easy to do super quick to do and it makes editing much more efficient if you are having any issues with downloading and using this just feel free to join my discord link in the description and ask any questions there or you can follow my twitter with notifications on and shoot me a dm and i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible but yeah guys that's basically the whole effect i really hope you did enjoy this video and learned something from it i will be doing probably more free presets in the future or be dropping some editing packs so make sure you guys do look out for that i really am appreciative of the support i've had during 2020 and i hope you guys have a great new year finally guys if you could just drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on again it would mean so much to me i'm really trying to make 2021 my best year on youtube so if you could help start that by just doing such a simple thing it means so much to me again you will not regret turning on those notifications because all of the content i'm going to be releasing this year is going to be absolutely insane and you're going to enjoy it a lot but yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one boys peace